afterwards, but we still say that we could be right. We're not saying we have actually found MH370. Right. We have found what we think is a lead that should be investigated. So you pass along this information, and as I can see from your press release, you passed it along twice. You passed along your report on March 31st and again on April 4th. What response have you gotten from Malaysian and Australian authorities? Because today, Australian officials essentially appear to be dismissing the report when they came out in response saying that they're still very satisfied that the final resting place of the missing aircraft is in the southern part of the search arc. They may very well be right, um, but uh, we still think that what we've found is a wreckage of, a, of an aircraft and somebody should actually look into it. And um, because the metals that we uh, have discovered and we have double-checked our work and our final report was actually sent to all of the uh, agencies um, on the um, 15th of April, was sent two weeks ago yesterday, and um, that um, we, we had double-checked all of our findings, and we had a total of 23 scientists looking at the um, looking at the project. So we're very, very positive that we've found something, and um, it may be down south, but we've definitely found something up north. And so, Mr. Pope, what is the response from the Australians and the Malaysians? Have they said that they're going to look into it? The Malaysians, um, the response has been excellent today. All right, so, so let's talk about this with CNN safety analyst David Susi and CNN analyst and ocean specialist Rob McCallum. Welcome to you both. Good morning. Hello. Okay, who wants to start? Um, Rob, I'm going to start with you. So this company said they detected titanium, aluminum, copper, and steel alloys in the water. All of these things make up what's in a Boeing 777, and that in part is how they detected whatever this is underneath the ocean. Um, do you buy that, Rob? No, not at all. Um, you know, there's no scientific validity to these claims whatsoever. And that's why you're seeing the authorities sort of distance themselves from it. Um, and, you know, to introduce this kind of thing, uh, you know, in this sort of turbocharged emotional environment that the relatives are going through is nothing short of despicable. Yeah, because the families do know about this. Um, David, um, this company also says they were able to detect these images underneath the water, and we'll put those up for you again, by using satellites and aircraft and 20 different technologies, including a nuclear reactor. Possible, mm -hmm. David? Yeah, I'm not that familiar with, uh, well, you know, I'm not that familiar with, with the water portion of it or, wh or what they've found, but I have used similar technologies in my mining business to help me locate best drilling areas and it's proved to work in that realm. But uh, as far as whether it can get through water, I'm not familiar with that or not. But I do know that the technology, at least for locating uh, gravel deposits and uh, other types of precious metals, we've, we've used that before. But uh, uh, as Rob said, I'm not sure it, that much about this particular company or what they've done in the past or, or not. But uh, the important thing is that to not get ultra-focused on what we've got. And, and I think everything band deserves at least a look to, for validity, for confidence in whether it's real or not, and for their credibility. So I, I wouldn't discount it as quickly as Rob might be doing, but uh, there's just two different ways of looking at it, I suppose. Yeah, so Rob, why not check it out? What, what could it hurt? Because it can't hurt anything except the people who believe in it. Uh, you know, it's, it's not helpful to relatives to give them false hope or, or to give them false leads. And it's very important that any information that comes to hand is checked for uh, scientific validity and is corroborated as far as possible before it's sent out to the public. And that's why you've seen the authorities be so very, very careful all the way through with how information is released. This sort of information released, uh, you know, willy-nilly, if you like, is just incredibly damaging uh, to people who don't necessarily have the scientific background to verify it themselves. So it needs to stand up to scrutiny, and if it's found to be false, then the company that released it needs to be held to account. 